Our Naomi Coles watched the verdict come in live with a Madison area defense attorney. Naomi, what did he have to say about the verdict? While we were waiting for that verdict, he was telling me, and that's Madison Area Defense Attorney Chris Fenn Wagner, he said that it's likely the jury took a vote right before they started deliberating just so they knew where everybody stood. Because 10 hours is not a lot of time for a case like this. Fenn Wagner says that points to widespread agreement from the jurors. He believes that many criminal defense attorneys are a bit surprised that they didn't struggle more with the case. What do we think? All three guilty. Well, the jury didn't mince words, apparently, in the jury room. Their 10 hours of deliberation obviously focused right in, and they decided that uh, there was evidence on all three counts. All three verdicts will be challenged, both in post-conviction motions and appeal, and one or two of them may be considered to merge into the others, perhaps, but as a bottom line, uh, to the jury, this was a clear-cut case. The evidence was not much in dispute from their perspective. Now, he says there's no doubt the historical significance of this vote weighed heavily on each juror and could have played a part in their decision. Now, later at 6 o'clock, I'll explain why he says there is still more to come in this case.